Hello guys, this is Osai from Speechless Graphics and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this birthday flyer for your loved ones in Photoshop. Without wasting much time, let's head straight into our lesson. Head over to File, click on New to create a new document. Set the width to 3200 and the height to 2000. After that, click on OK. Select the ellipse tool in the tools bar. Hold shift and draw an ellipse. After that, select a rectangle tool. Create a thin rectangle. After that, press Ctrl J to duplicate the rectangle layer. Drag the layer, the new layer downward. Select the two layers. Press Ctrl J again on your keyboard to duplicate them. Drag them downward. After that, select the four rectangular layers. Press Ctrl J to duplicate them. Drag the new duplicated layers downward. After that, adjust the rectangle by dragging them to the left. Turn off the ellipse layer so that we can see the rectangle draw. Select all the rectangle layers. Press Ctrl and G to group them. Rename the group into rectangle. Turn off the rectangle layer. Turn the ellipse layer back on. Go to file and select place. Look for your image, the image you want to use for your flyer. Double click on the image to open it. Adjust the size a little bit by pressing shift on the keyboard and clicking on the image to drag it. After that, hit enter. Move the image onto your ellipse shape. Go to the layers panel and drag the new image onto the eclipse layer. Right click on the new image and select create flipping mask. Now we want the ellipse to take the color of the background of our image. So double click on the ellipse tip shape. Using the eyedropper tool, select the background of the image. Now turn your rectangles layer back on. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard to transform the rectangles layer. Rotate them a little bit. After that, we are going to clean the unwanted portions of the rectangle. That is this part. So we are going to do that by first creating a layer mark on the rectangle's layer. After that, we hold control on our keyboard and select the thumbnail of the eclipse layer. This is to make a selection around the eclipse layer. After that, select the quick selection tool from the tools bar. Right click on the ellipse, select transform selection. Hold shift and alt on the keyboard and drag the anchor point to increase the size of the selection a little bit. After that, hit enter on the keyboard. Now select your brush. Make sure the foreground is set to black. Select your layer mark thumbnail on the rectangle. Start painting to take out all the unwanted portions of the rectangle layer. After that, press Ctrl and D on the keyboard to deselect. We don't want this part, so we are going to clean them also. Now we are finished with our image. It has left with the text. File holding control. Select the image layer and select the eclipse layer also. After that, press Ctrl and G on the keyboard to group them. Rename the group into image. 
Now select your text to start typing your happy birthday message. After typing, go to the character option, change the color to black. After that, drag your happy birthday message a little bit. We are going to cut out the birthday out of the happy. So select your text tool again, highlight the birthday, right click on it and select cut. Create a new text layer by clicking on an empty space. Right click on the empty space and select paste. Now select your happy layer. Change the font style. The font style I'm using is Bloomsbeck and it can be found in the description below. Now after we've changed the font, select the two layers, that is the happy and the birthday. Select the bold option on the character option. After that, select only the happy layer. Press Ctrl T on the keyboard. Increase the size a little bit. Now select skill by right clicking. Drag it on top a little bit. Do the same thing for the birthday layer also. Create a new rectangle layer. After that, drag the rectangle layer beneath the birthday layer. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard. Right click and select skill. Click on the middle anchor point on the right side. Drag it up a little bit. After that, hit enter on the keyboard. Change the birthday text color to white. Select your rectangle layer. Drag it on top of the birthday layer. Now that we are all set and done, it has left with the person's name. So we are going to type a random name. The name I'm going to use is Mr. Alexander. Now we have our person's name. We are going to do the same transformation for the name layer also. Press Ctrl C. Increase it a little bit. Right click on it and select skill. Drag it a little bit upward. We are going to increase the spacing of the name a little bit. After that, select all the text layers, including the rectangle, by holding Ctrl on your keyboard and selecting each layer. Press Ctrl and J to group them. Rename the group as text. After that, press Ctrl and T. We are going to transform the whole text layer. Increase the size of the text a little bit. Now 
Now unlock the background layer. Create a new gradient layer on top of the background layer. Change the color of the gradient. Now we have our background. Let's type some inspirational words and motivational words for the person celebrating the birthday. So we move to our text to click and drag below the name and start typing. For me, I'm going to type, may your heart felt wishes come to pass. May you live long to enjoy the fruit of your labor. After that, you click on OK. Let's adjust the gradient a little bit. It seems to be too yellowish. I want a little orange color. Select the gradient layer and also the background layer. Press Ctrl J and rename them as background. Move the inspirational message into the text group. After that, select the text and the image layer. Drag them to the left a little bit. After that, select your crop too and drag it to the left. After that, hit enter on the keyboard. Let's go on and enhance the highlights a little bit. So we create a new adjustment layer. Increase the brightness a little bit and the contrast a little bit down. Okay, this should be good. Now this is our birthday flyer. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from our channel. Thank you and bye-bye.